everyone. Today we are headed to the farm store to do some updates on that machine. And then when we get back home, we have some more updates to do on another machine. So come along with us. Um, the farm store is a location that we got off of a Facebook ad. They have a National uh, 474 combo machine that we picked up for, I believe it was $1,200. Uh, the labels that were in the machine were really old and hard to um, hard to really see. So we picked up some new ones and we're going to install those today along with some new price labels and make it look a little bit better and a little bit easier to select your snack or your beverage since it was hard to read like the selection number and what to choose. Here are those nice new shiny uh, labels and price rolls that we're going to put in the machine. Uh, we bought an entire set just to make it easier and so that everything looked uniform in the machine. I know that we could have used uh, like just a price gun or price stickers and put them on there and made it look probably just as good, but it was easy and we hadn't really thought about it when we ordered this. Next time we might just use the stickers. Here you can see how some of the old labels looked compared to how beautiful the new labels look. They're pretty easy to install too. It takes just a second to pop them in and to roll the prices. This machine has been doing pretty well for us. Some of our best sellers in it are fruit snacks. For some reason, fruit snacks are like on everybody's mind when they hit a snack machine. Um, so those fly off the shelf. Also, uh, they like some pastry stuff. They told us that they like ho-hos. So we put those in the machine. We'll see how those do. But um, you know, most of our snacks do decent, but definitely fruit snacks are the best ones. Pretty super easy update on this one. The next one is going to be more complicated. So we're going to head home and unbox the parts we have and I'll show you what we're doing. By the way, we don't have a cash count or collection total for you for this week, but this location does bring in about $45 every two weeks or so. They do say that they're super busy in the summer. So we're hoping to get it dialed in so we know exactly what they like by the time summer hits. Here's our box from In One Technology. This is the upgrade kit we had told you about in our last video to upgrade the uh, snack machine, the FSI 3091, uh, to accept a credit card reader. So this box seems a little bit daunting, but I think I can handle it. I need to put in a new display, a new control board. Um, there's plenty of directions and a phone number I can call to speak with somebody to help me because I think I might need it, but we're going to give this a shot. We need this to work. We're going to do it. Here's a close up look at the, the directions and all the different cables and cords and the control board. Um, everything that needs to be switched out with the old stuff and this new stuff needs to be put in. Um, it looks like we have a DEX cable there. So there's a lot of stuff I know what it is. Some stuff I'm not familiar with, but I think I can get it. Get it. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting this machine upgraded. You can see um, some of the old stuff that I'm gonna be taking out and some of the new stuff I'm gonna be putting in. So here you see the old tan colored board that was in. It was super easy to disconnect all of the uh, cables and remove it. Um, it was just behind a metal panel. Um, and then to uh, put the new board in was super easy as well. Uh, the directions were straightforward. Um, I didn't have any problems. The only time I ran into any issues was when I was connecting some of the cables. There was a little confusion on how things were labeled on the old board versus the new board. Um, after a little reading, and I actually did call the helpline to get a little help, and it was super, super, super easy. So anybody can handle this, I promise. You can see on the directions here how everything is labeled with like J3, J4, J5, and a description of what it is and what it does and why it's there. So again, the directions were super easy. Next, you're going to see me removing that little green piece. That is actually the, the display. Um, so that needs to be removed because it's not compatible with uh, the credit card reader and the new board. So you have to remove the old display and then they give you a new display, which looks nicer by the way too. So that was also incredibly easy and straightforward to switch out the old one with the new one. I do have to say that I thought that this process was going to be, or guess this project was going to be incredibly hard. And I put it off for a while because I thought I was gonna have issues, but it went over really, really easy. So if you have a machine that you're looking to upgrade, I would suggest go ahead and do it. If you already have the machine, do it. Um, it is an expense. This kit was $350. Um, this, this machine only cost, I believe it was $625. So there was room in the budget to upgrade it. As a side note, guys, having a drill and using it to, for all of these screws was such a help. Such, such a help. So 
as always, we super duper appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. If you're new in town, please consider subscribing. We would greatly appreciate it. And until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye.